Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to use this retry method and how it works internally. So this is the helper method in Laravel, which we can use anywhere. We can use it in the class or in the blade file or any other files. So the documentation says the retry function attempts to execute the given callback until the given maximum attempt threshold is met, which means that we can call it like this. The first parameter is how many times we want to retry it. The second parameter is a callable where we'll pass what we want to execute, which means that whatever we have added inside this callable, it will retry for five times and it will only retry if it throws an exception from inside this callable. And the third parameter is the number of milliseconds to wait after the first attempt. So it will try this function and let's say if it throws an exception, which means it fails, so it will again retry. So before retrying, it will wait for 100 milliseconds and then again it will retry. So let's see that in action. So here we'll say retry, let's say three times. The second parameter is a function or a callable. Here we'll just echo try and here in a closure, the first parameter will be attempt. We'll get the current attempt number here. So I'll just say here, try attempt like this and we'll not pass any third parameter here, which means we'll not wait for any milliseconds for the retry. So first of all, let us just try this, whether it will retry or not. So here it only tried for once, which means it did not retry and it did not retry because it hasn't thrown any exception over here. So let's try to throw an exception over here like this. So here you can see try one, try two and try three, which means it tried for three times and then it threw the exception, whatever we have thrown over here after trying for three times. And let us also add a new line over here like this. And if I again retry it, now you can see here we have everything in a new line. So now let me wait for one second after each retry. And here also let me pass some timestamp over here. I'm just logging the current time. So if I retry over here, it will wait for three seconds. You can see here and then it will echo. So here you can see 25, 26 and 27, which means that it retried three times after waiting for one second in the middle. And also there is one more parameter which is not mentioned in the documentation and I'll show you that also. So here you can see here the fourth parameter is when. So if this is true, then only it will retry. Otherwise it will not retry and it will accept a callable. So here we'll pass anonymous function and let's say here we'll return true like this. So let me rerun it. So you can see here it is trying three times but if I return false from here then it will only try one time. It will not try three times and we can have any expression over here and here we'll receive the exception whatever we have thrown from here or whatever that is thrown here. So now let's have a look how it works under the hood. So here attempt is zero in the beginning and this is the beginning. So this is the block of code that will run. It is just like a do while loop and here we are increasing the attempt by one. So this zero will be one over here and this attempt is passed to the callback which is this callback which is the second parameter. So we are accepting this attempt over here since it is passed from here and which will always increase by one whenever we retry and which we have seen over here. So let me just remove this from here and let me just run it. Now you can see here try one, two and three. So this is increasing one by one. So we are getting this one, two and three over here. Okay, it will try to run that closure or callable. So this one function, it will try to execute it. And if there is an exception, then it will catch it over here. You can see here, try catch statement over here. It will catch it over here. And whenever the times is less than one. So this times, it is always decreasing by one. So here we have passed three, then it first time it will decrease by one, which will be two. And then again, it will decrease by one. It, then it will be one and then it will be zero. And whenever it is zero, then it will again throw the exception. That's why we got this. But if it is not less than one, then it will continue over here. We'll look at this a little bit later. So here it will check if sleep milliseconds is passed over here. If it is not passed, then it will just continue or go to the beginning and again attempt will increase and times will decrease. But if it is passed over here, it will just pass this sleep milliseconds to this value and it will multiply by 1000 and pass it to the use slip with the help of which we can make it wait for 
the desired number of seconds and in this milliseconds we can also pass a closure since we only passed the number over here but we can also pass a closure and then we can do some calculations and return the number of seconds there and that will be executed using this value function if we look here inside this value function then you can share if the value is instance of a closure then it will just call it as a function with the arguments that is passed otherwise it will just return the value so here if it is a closure it will just execute it otherwise it will just return that slip so after that it will go to the beginning and the loop will continue and if you see here when and not when exception and which we have already seen before in the example as a fourth parameter I have passed here if anything that we have passed over here turns out to be true then only it will retry otherwise it will not retry so you can see here if something is passed in the when and not when which means if it is false then it will throw an exception and it is throwing the same exception that it is catching over here and here it is throwing an exception and nothing is catching over here so that's why we see the exception in the end and as i have shown in the example before that we can receive this exception in the fourth closure so it is coming from over here and you can check if it is certain kind of exception then we want to retry then that is also possible so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye